That's why I don't recommend that friction massage. It's like rubbing the rubber band against the rock. Hi everyone, I'm Jun Joy, Mr. Physio here. Today I'm going to talk about biceps tendinopathy. And as always, you will get a lot of information and techniques from this video. So please watch till the end. And none of this video should be missed out. Let's have a look at the muscle's location first. The biceps starts from the inside of the forearm bone and divides into short and long heads to attach to the tip of the shoulder blade. If you look at the upper arm bone, there's a little groove where the biceps tendon, long head tendon, sits in. So when you Google up biceps tendinopathy, you will see long head of the biceps problem only. Have you thought of why? I will tell you later. Before that, we should know their function properly. We all know biceps get shortened when it bend the elbow and get stretched with the arm straight. So that's when you think the starting point is here. But if you think the starting point is down here, if that contracts, that's actually pulling your shoulder forward. So people with round shoulder can have this muscle tight and shortened. And they easily get tight because we do a lot of things with our arms and we always actually have our arms bent. So we actually put them in a shortened position. If you put a muscle in a shortened position for a long time, they will get tight and short. So what happens if it's too tight? So I've got spiky ball that's head of my humerus and this is my long head of the biceps tendon. So I told you there is a little groove in that upper arm bone and the long head of the biceps tendon sits like that in the groove. If the biceps muscle is too tight, that's pulling the tendon down and it can actually rub against the bone. So it's being stretched out and compressed at the same time against the bone. And I keep telling you in almost all my videos, the tendons doesn't like compression and stretching at the same time. You will get sick of me telling you this again and again if you're you know, my old subscribers. But this is very important. The problem starts from that friction. So this answers the question, right? So it's more common to have long tendon problem because it sits in that groove. It's near the bony area and rubbed against the bone. That's why I don't recommend this friction massage. Some people say cross friction massage creates a bit of trauma, micro trauma to the tendon, so the tendon can repair themselves. Wait a minute! Your tendon gets painful at the moment because it doesn't have the ability to recover from that damage caused by this rubbing action. So why would you keep rubbing the tendon which doesn't have the ability to recover even from that current damage. And most importantly, there's no evidence on cross friction massage. And this is the best research I can find on the effect of cross friction massage. Anecdotal. That's not really objective. So what we need to do is actually first of all, relax the muscle. So if your muscle is a little bit relaxed, that will actually reduce the tension on the tendon here. To massage that muscle, we're going to use this tennis ball or spiky ball. Just simply place the ball in the middle of the muscle. So maybe 5 cm away from the elbow, 10 cm away from that top of the shoulder. So go side to side like that, across the muscle belly for about 30 seconds. And then you press down into the muscle and just activate and relax activate and relax so you do that about 30 seconds as well and just do more on tighter spots okay so next will be the eccentric exercises so the lengthening exercises muscle gets lengthened on the loading so pull your shoulder back and try to bend your elbow towards you and just push it away with your left hand my muscle is trying to contract but it's being lengthened because I'm pushing it away so pull it towards you and just push it away. If that's difficult, you probably want to use a weight. So start from here and lowering down slowly. And then pull it up with the other hand. Don't just do this shortening contraction, okay? So we want that lengthening part of the exercises only. As you control that weight using that muscle, the muscle is being lengthened. So that's eccentric contraction, that's lengthening exercises. 
And another eccentric exercise for biceps tendon is rotation. Biceps muscle gets shortened and that pulls the forearm out to the side that way. So we want to do the opposite action so that your muscle can get lengthened on the loading, all right? Hold one end of the weight like this and just slowly do that. Pull it up and lower it down slowly in five seconds. Coming up. And that's also effective for tendon rehab. And the last exercise you want to do is rotator cuff exercises. Rotator cuff muscles and biceps muscles work together. They're actually attached around the head of the humerus. So they stabilize the head of the humerus on the shoulder joint so it doesn't get pulled up when the deltoid muscle lifting your arm up. Deltoid muscle is attached here. So when, they, when the deltoid muscle contracts, that's pulling your upper arm bone up like that way. And the long head of the biceps together with rotator cuff muscles attached like this, they pull the head of the humerus down like that. So if the rotator cuff muscle is too weak, the humor head goes up and that will put more stretch on that biceps tendon which is not ideal right so please see my rotator cuff series today we talked about the biceps tendon problem and like other tendon problems the biceps problem also starts from that tendon being stretched out compressed against the bone so stop massaging your tendon massaging your muscle and lengthen up the muscle tissue with that eccentric exercises. I'll see you next time. And enjoy.